In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to, one, to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem. And they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All you nations, praise the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations, praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. This man was born there, and of Zion, they shall say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples were, are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. All you nations, praise the Lord. Please all stand. Hallelujah. 
My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, how long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today invite us to look at the hands of Jesus, our Good Shepherd. Jesus tells us in our gospel today, no one can take them out of my hand. Just as the safety of the sheep depends on the hands of the shepherd, our life too depends on the hands of Jesus our Good Shepherd. And this is also what we see in our first reading today. The mention of the hand of the Lord in the midst of the persecutions being experienced by the Christians is something that gives us consolation. Despite the many persecutions that the early Christians are experiencing, despite being scattered to the countryside, even to Antioch, in order to escape the persecutions in Jerusalem, our first reading today tells us, the hand of the Lord was with them. The hand of the Lord was guiding them. They were not really lost. The hand of the Lord was directing them to mission. My dear brothers and sisters, today let us look at the hands of the Lord. And to His hands, let us entrust ourselves. Today, Jesus tells us, no one can take them out of my hand. Jesus is telling you, no one can take you out of my hands. Let that sink in. Walang sino man o walang anuman ang siyang makapag-aalis sa atin 
mula sa mapag-aruga, mapagmahal at mapagkalingang kamay ni Jesus. Sometimes we entrust ourselves to people and things. But the invitation today is to always entrust ourselves to the hands of God. In the hands of God, we are always safe. In the hands of Jesus, we are always secure. In the hands of Jesus, we experience healing. In the hands of Jesus, there is salvation. But as we are invited to look at the hands of Jesus, our Good Shepherd, we are also being invited today to look at our own hands because each of us is a shepherd in our own little ways. There are also lives of people. There are also responsibilities and tasks entrusted into our hands. What are these things and who are these people entrusted in your hands? Are they safe in your hands? My dear brothers and sisters, let our hands be like the hands of Jesus, our Good Shepherd. Let us use our hands not to destroy, but to create. Not to hurt, but to heal. Not to wound, but to love. Today, this Mass, we are being joined by nurses from St. Luke's Medical Center in BGC and other nurses from other hospitals. As they start today, the observance of the International Nurses Week. Our dear nurses, thank you for your caring hands. Napakahalaga ng inyong mga kamay, lalong-lalo na ngayong panahon ng pandemic. Pagkatapos ng mahigit na dalawang taon ng pandemic, your hands have become important hands because through your hands, many experience the caring, the loving, and the healing hands of God. Ipinagdadasal po namin kayo sa misang ito sa inyong importanteng misyon na ginagampanan sa panahon natin ngayon. Hindi madali, mahirap, Katulad ng mabuting pastol, itinataya nyo rin ang inyong sarili at ang inyong buhay. Pero sa pamamagitan ng inyong mga kamay, natitiyak namin na ang kamay ng Diyos ay patuloy pa rin nag-aaruga at nagmamahal at nagpapagaling sa amin, lalo na sa mga kapatid nating may karamdaman. God bless your hands. God bless the works of your hands. In this Mass, we also pray for our newly elected leaders. Into their hands, we entrust our country. Into their hands, we entrust our future. Into their hands, we entrust our families. Into their hands, we entrust our lives. We pray for your hands, that your hands may become instruments of God's hands in serving and in caring for all of us. May the Philippines be safe in your hands. May the Philippines develop, grow, and become the country that God wants it to be 
in your hands. My dear brothers and sisters, today let us pray to Jesus, our Good Shepherd. Jesus, our Good Shepherd, into your hands we commend our lives. Jesus, our Good Shepherd, into your hands we commend the Philippines. Please stand. God gives eternal life to the sheep of his flock. Let us pray to the Father, confident that we can never be taken away from his care. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pope and the bishops may become true shepherds by leading their flock to good pastures. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That those who wandered away from the path of righteousness may be led back to the fold. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That the youth may hear the voice of the Good Shepherd calling them to serve God's family in a special way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may experience the tenderness of the Good Shepherd through the loving care of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ, the Good Shepherd, may lead the dead safely home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also pray for our nurses, for our doctors, and all who are in the medical profession, that as they become instruments of God's healing care and love, God may also bless them, keep them safe, and make them strong in fulfilling their mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We pray for people who need our prayers and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers. Bless each one of us in the way you know best. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find the light in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ignorance, from deceptions and lies, and from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen.
we thank you for joining our Mass this morning. We especially thank our brothers and sisters, our dear nurses from St. Luke's Medical Center for being with us today. This is the third year that we have been part, the Manila Cathedral has been part of your International Nurses Week. We pray for you and uh, we ask God's blessings upon you, especially in, this, in the vocation, in the work that you are doing for our people. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Cheney, late